to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Hi, right, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have my fall sneaker rotation. So, what does that mean? Basically, I'm gonna be showing you guys seven shoes because you know there's seven days in a week, and I'm gonna be showing you guys my weekly fall rotation like the shoes that I'm mainly gonna be wearing throughout fall times and just fall shoes that I think you guys might be interested in or are good. But yeah, I have seven of my own shoes right here that I will definitely be wearing throughout the next upcoming, you know, month to two months because honestly. It's already really cold in New York. Like, it's weird. It'll be like 70 degrees today, but the next day it'll be like 40. So it's like, I kind of want, you know, that like calm, like 50 to 60 weather with the sun still. So like fall, what you, what you doing, fall? Come on, I'm trying to make some fall fit pics and all that stuff. But nonetheless, if you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day. Hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber. Unless, of course, I'm your favorite YouTuber. Now that all the talking is out of the way. Um, I have a pretty good range of shoes for this like it's not mainly one brand um, I have like obviously I have like three Jordans in here I got like two New Balances a pair of Solomons and then another pair of shoes So a good range of stuff and uh, honestly I just looked at pretty much what I'm starting to wear right now as it's getting colder out and just what I know I'm gonna make a lot of fall type fits with We're coming in for the first shoe Let's start off with something a little bit basic now, these ones I'm actually very excited about because I haven't had this shoe for fall in almost two years I want to say this used to be my go-to shoe all year round and I'm very excited to have it back in the collection and it's definitely you know I feel like it shines the most in fall it is the Air Jordan 1 shadow so these right here very very excited to have these for the fall time I love this sneaker this is a sneaker like I don't really know why I sold it I think I just got kind of like discouraged with all like the Jordan 1 hype and I was like bro like because I had Royals breads and shadows I got rid of all of them so you know maybe one day we'll get the Royal bread shadow collection back but shadows definitely one of my favorites in terms of just like they go with everything they literally go with every single outfit if you guys ever are debating on a pair of OG Jordan ones to get I feel like shadows are like a no-brainer like you can beat these up they still look good I wore these throughout all of 10th grade all 11th even into 12th and then I think I sold them once I got into college but yeah it's third year of college now and we got these boys back so very excited about these these will for sure be getting worn okay so let's switch it up let's go over to New Balance so if you guys didn't see I think it was one of the most recent videos if not the last video Amanda did get me a pair of New Balances and I'm very excited about these because again just like the shadows it's something that I said I've been wanting for a minute like a sneaker I've actually been on the lookout for because not many sneakers like newly released sneakers have been catching my eye but this one released a few months back I want to say and it's pretty under the radar for the most part it did get a little bit of TikTok hype at the beginning but I feel like it died down um, because Amanda did get these for a steal if you guys saw the video go check it out if not whatever but we do have these right here the new balance Bryant Gills collab now this olive canvas with the stitching lines that embroidery whatever you want to call it is just so fire I'm so hype about these they came with like four different pairs of laces this whole collab was fire I definitely need the 2002 R slip-ons that they have with this it's like an all cream pair those I'm definitely gonna cop eventually but these are for sure fire that green like as I said the stitching lines like the colors that they chose are definitely tough like it's not too crazy and they just look really good like removable New Balance logo on the side um again as I said the four different laces like I don't know which laces I want to put in but I might just keep switching them out because these are definitely tough so very very excited about these New Balance 2002 R's are definitely a sneaker that I do plan on wearing a lot throughout the fall time okay getting into the next shoe let's bring it back to my OG days of just you know having mad different Jordans and stuff I'm very excited about these like when I bought these I bought these in the summer and I still wore them like I'm not gonna lie I've worn them a couple times since I bought them but I'm like yo these are gonna shine throughout fall and even winter. This one right here is one of just like my personal like favorites. Like I feel like not a lot of people are gonna like these or whatever, but I love this shoe. I love the colorway and it just brings back a lot of memories. I don't know why. Like I feel like this Jordan model, I just I, I don't know. I have like low-key like a connection to it. I didn't realize it, but like the more like I look at them and the more I put them on, I'm like, yeah. I, like cause I had a few pairs of them in the past, like when I was in middle school and high school, but it is the Jordan. 13 this one right here is the olive colorway and this one is just so beautiful like you can wear this with so many different things that black that little bit of like brown like i know they call it olive but it's more like brown it's not really like an olive colorway but and the material on this that suede and this suede and the reason i said like these are so per like they're gonna shine the most in the fall and winter is because jordan 13s like they feel like a boot to me like in like a good way not in a bad way like the padding in here they're so comfortable like honestly out of all the Jordans, these might be like top three most comfortable Jordans. And I'm just being honest, like this might be one of my favorite Jordans in terms of me. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but 
Jordan 13s are definitely one of the most comfortable shoes I own um, in terms of Jordans. And uh, yeah, I just love these. I love the padding. I love the tongue. I love the way that they fit and they just look really good. Like I said, they literally remind me of like a boot, but it's a Jordan. So yeah, very excited to be wearing these throughout the fall and winter time. Okay, so let's switch it up. Going over to honestly one of my favorite shoes in my collection. And I know I already said this in the, in the video, but like Amanda did buy me these shoes. So shout out to Amanda. But ah, damn, these right here. You guys know, if you guys have been watching for the past two to three years, I want to say now, ever since end of high, my end of high school career, I guess you could say, that's kind of when I got into Solomon's. Before the hype was really like as crazy as it is now, but like I just bought a pair of Solomon's because I thought they looked cool. Like I like the hiking style of it and Amanda got me these ones recently. Like this is a little bit different from the XT6s, the XT4s that I have and I love these. Like this right here. Regardless of the fall video that we're making right now, this is one of my favorite sneakers I own. Definitely, probably top three. Top three for sure. I love this model. This colorway goes with everything, first of all. That black, gray, little hint of red. I don't even, I ignore the red. I wear it with everything. Like, I literally wore it today. This goes hard. Like, I love these. The black, the gray, the materials, the quality, like, the, the grip. Like, again, fall and winter, these are going to go crazy. So, very excited about these. And this is definitely a shoe, like, you might see me. Just like the XT6. You'll probably see me, you know, get a couple more colorways of these, like as they start coming out. Because I know that there's like this olive colorway with like this like purple mix in it. Like they just look really cool. So definitely I have my eye on those. But yeah, I'm just in love with this shoe. So thanks to Amanda for pulling the trigger. Because I would have never pulled the trigger. Because these went for a little bit too much than what I, you know, wanted to pay for them. But Amanda got them for me. So shout out to her. Definitely one of my favorite sneakers I own. And just a perfect overall fall shoe. Okay, bringing it over to something a little bit more on the calm side. And these right here, I got from the thrift shop. I got these for 15 bucks, I want to say, maybe 12, maybe 10, I don't know. You guys know all the shoes that me and Amanda be getting in the thrift videos, they mainly just go from 10 to $15, um, sometimes even cheaper, like you got a pair of New Balances that day for $1. So yeah, these ones right here are, you know, a little bit on my, my weirder side, my grandpa side, but it is the Merle. These right here are the Merle Hydro Mock, I believe they're called, or no, is that like, that's like the foam runner ones, right? I don't know. All I know is that these ones, I have two pairs of these, I have another pair that I colored on and I made it my own custom but this colorway and the suede and just like that grandpa feel like these give heavy fall vibes like I really mess with these so yeah very excited to be wearing these because these are like literally like they're like house shoes but like not at the same time like I wear these out like I'm gonna wear these out I'm gonna probably put these on today too because these go crazy they're just comfy and I got them for like literally 10 either 10 to 15 dollars I don't know if you guys saw the video you saw the video but yeah definitely really mess with these so yeah I love the material the suede and just a perfect fall shoe that color just goes crazy okay getting into the final two shoes one of damn am I gonna keep saying I think fall time is just like the best like I just love fall time in terms of fits this right here as I said before probably Top three shoes in my collection alongside the Salomons. I love these. So happy I got these back. Uh, actually, I don't think I've ever had these. Maybe I had them once. Maybe I did have them once. But nonetheless, this is one of my favorite shoes of all time, like period. Like these are literally like if I had to pick five shoes in the whole entire world, like this is coming in at like top five. Like I don't know what number, but if I had to live off of five shoes, these for sure. The metallic fives. I love the metallic fives. I like these way better. Then the black off-white fives that everybody hypes up and loves. Like, bro, this is what this is where it started. Those cream laces, this is where it started. If you remember Jordan wearing the cream laces, bro, like, come on. These are tough. Nike Air on the back. This, just like the shadows, they look really good beat. Like, it doesn't really matter even if they're beat. Like, this one has, like, a little crease in it, but it's not. Mine aren't beat like that, but they just still look good. Like, the yellowing of the cage, the yellowing, they still look really nice with that cream laces. I put the cream laces in because, you know, as I just said, if you saw the pictures of Jordan back in the day, putting in the white laces, but these go absolutely crazy. And fives, one of my favorite models. And like I said, literally one of my favorite shoes of all time is the black metallic fives. Now, the only shoe that like, I feel like is interchangeable with that is the black grape fives, but I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I have to have them both in hand for me to decide that. But nonetheless, at the moment, black metallic fives are probably my favorite Jordan five period. So getting into the last and final shoe, I tried to hold off. Like you guys saw, I didn't put in any of my Solomon XT sixes cause I could have, cause those will probably get worn too. But I did use one Solomon and I tried to only do one new balance, but bro, this colorway literally screams fall. It is the new balance 993 Ame Leon Dior or however you say the brand name. These right here, the beef and broccoli is like, this is fall in a sneaker. This is literally fall as a shoe. You have that black midsole, brown suede, olive green accents along the entire shoe, black laces. These just go absolutely crazy. So very, 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 very good fall shoe. I can't recommend these enough. And um, 
Yeah, like even again, even through the summer and spring, I was wearing these because I did get them during springtime. I was still wearing them, but I just know like fall, like it's brown fits, green, green fits, black, like all that stuff is heavy in the fall time. And pff, this shoe is so good looking. Like I don't know the materials, the colorway, I, just just tough. I shall. So that was my fall sneaker rotation. Make sure you guys comment down below. I want to know what's in your fall sneaker rotation. Comment down below what shoes you're going to be wearing. You don't have to comment seven pairs of shoes because I know not everybody even has seven pairs of shoes. Just, you know, maybe one, two pairs of shoes that you have that you know that you're going to wear a lot through the fall time or recommendations that you might have for me or other people like, yo, I think this is a good fall shoe, da, 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 even if you don't have it. So nonetheless, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Go follow me on the Instagram at paul.souls because I'm definitely going to be posting pictures over the next month or two. A lot of fall fits are coming. You'll probably see these sneakers a lot. So anyway, pretty much it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. We out. Grr. Bye. I wanna run up the money in love with the music. I do it with passion. Yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer in love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm in the with the money. They calling me Michael. I'm feeling like Jackson.